Thank you very much. Hello again, everybody. Walking with the TV roll-offs. We're getting down near the end of yes, the TV sir. roll-offs for the 19, uh, seven, uh, 19, what year are we in? 89, <laughs> I think it is. 88, 89 <laughs> season. I'm back in the 70s. Wish it was back in the 70s. We would be a little bit younger then. I like your haircut. You got Thank a new you, haircut Ron. for... Um, uh, I was going to say for Easter, but that was like a week ago, wasn't it? It was for Easter, though. I had <laughs> was it cut right after Easter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of money to give away today. All right. I mean, a little more than we usually do. We always have a lot of money. $1,500 top prize this yeah. week, and the last week of the roll-offs will be for $1,500, and I'll go into that a little more during the show. Okay. Why don't you introduce the bowlers that we have in the finals? All right. In our first match today, we have Jim Sailing, who is averaging 180. He'll be bowling on Sylvester Sampson, who is averaging 198. In our second match, we have George Viscani, who is also fortunate enough to make it on the no tap. He'll be bowling Mike Galusi, who is averaging 177. And in our no tap, again, we have George Viscani, and he'll be taking on this gentleman, Terry Whitney, who is averaging 182. Okay, so George is the hot bowler this week. He's in both the regular feature and the no tap. And as we said, we have a lot of money to give away. Top prize, $1,500. Of course, everybody walks away a winner. And we have merchandise, too, that we'll tell you about as we go along. We'll have that first match coming up right after these messages. $1,500 at stake here in our regular feature. This is Jim Salem against Sylvester Stamson. Jim will be starting off, and he'll be getting a few pins from Sylvester. Yep, -er. he'll be receiving 13 pins in this match, Ron. He's averaging 180. Sylvester averages 198. The roll-offs is all handicapped. The regular and the no-tap. And Jim. the regular at 70%, so Jim will receive 13 pins. Okay, he's the lefty. Come back. Oh. Little light, not enough to carry. Just wouldn't bend in. Here's the guy that's always all business when he comes on the show. Sylvester Sampson tucks that elbow in. Really gets underneath the ball, sends it wide, and pow. He's got that roundhouse. Goes to New York by way of L.A. I remember once we had a new photographer or cameraman down the lane. We have a camera down the lanes, and he got a little bit too close to the lanes, and he was on the approach, and he stopped. He motioned for the cameraman to move over. He doesn't monkey around, especially when it comes to cash. There's Jim with his spare. Jim is 25 years old, lives in Gates at 20 Gates Manor Drive. He works at Wegmans. He's single. He's been bowling for 10 years. Bowls in just one lead and averaging 180. A lot of concentration. On the cross. Ball well, stayed. It, it never did. It, you, would, you thought it was going to cross over, but it kind of like stayed straight in there, Mick. And, and if it had gone any closer to the head pin, he may have had a split. For sure, if the ball finished at all, mm -hmm. it would have uh, been right on the nose. Yep. Here's Here Sylvester. Sylvester. Looking for a double, yep. trying to pick up some of the 13 pins he's giving away. Right there, he's got it. He's got his line, doesn't he? He sure does. And he picked up the first bonus of the day. Free car wash from Panorama Car Wash, any three locations. Panorama, Scottsville, or Williamson. That's our bonus for two strikes in a row. And that's what Jim Salen is going for here. As you can see, he's on a strike. Sylvester just picked up 10 pins by virtue of that double. Nice smooth rolling ball. Oh, boy. Good break. First some bad luck and then a good break, but he never should have had it to begin with. That was a good ball. Flat, though. So he breaks for nine. Here's a chance for Sylvester to take over the lead. With this strike here, he'd be up, oh, by around eight pins. This also for a bonus. He's got it. And he's got himself a $15 gift certificate from Debbie Supply. 
in a case of Coors or Coors Light from Wright Wisner. The bonus for three strikes in a row. Should any of our bowlers pick up a 300 game, they'll receive the use of a new Ford automobile for a year from Cristo Ford. Now his Jim, he just lost his lead in that last one. As he picks up a spare. So Jim will move over to the right side. He had a strike here last time. Sylvester is perfect so far. And Jim has been very close. Slow and deliberate. That time he came in high. Yeah, that time the ball finished all the way. He stayed yeah, it with it and lifted it well. Well, still bonus time for Sylvester. Yes, sir. Now going for four in a row. And a free garage door tune-up from Ace Garage Door. Division of Alliance Store. Free transmission tune-up from Milton Ron's transmission. And free rust proofing in any car. Crystal Ford. How does this one look? He's got it. Four in a row. Salen's bowling a fine game. He has nine in a spare strike. Nine in a spare. Nine on the last ball. Looking for his third spare. But his opponent, Sylvester Sampson, has started off with a four-bagger. <laughs> Sylvester now with the lead by about 18 pins. So he's he's made up quite a few. He made up the 13 you see up there. That was the uh, the difference in handicap. He's 30 made that pin up. swing. 30 pin swing. Mm -hmm. Jim's been around the head pin. He just hasn't been able to carry. There he goes. A little fast on the end. Seems to be going in a little flat, huh? Mm-hmm. Might be setting the ball down a little short the line and not getting it down the lane long enough. And by that, it's rolling out too soon. The ball's just flat on the end. It's done finishing when it hits the pins. Here's Sylvester going for five in a row. He's swinging the gutter, getting it way down deep. Radical finish on the end. He's got it. He was talking to that one. Put a little speed on it. A little more speed. So he starts off with a five timer. Going for a top prize of $1,500. Sylvester Sampson with a 198 average. Here's Jim Salen. It's kind of tough when your opponent starts off with a five timer like that. Well, we're halfway there. And Sylvester Sampson is perfect so far with five strikes in a row. And he has himself a pretty good lead of about 28 pins. But we still have five frames to go on. We'll have the conclusion right after this. Salem down by about 30 pins midway through our first match. Bowlers going for a top prize of $1,500. Jim's bowling a good game, Mickey. Yes, he is. He stayed clean, but he's got to start striking. When your opponent starts off with the first five, you know you've got to start to carry. Nine and a wiggle again. That's a tough break. Interesting note, earlier today, uh, bowling in the head-to-head -head matches, Sylvester Sampson had the first 11 in a row, bowled 297. Came in a little high, left a split, but he is capable of stringing the strikes. Well, we talked about George Viscotti being the hot bowler this week. He's in the regular feature and the no-tap, but 
Sylvester has been mowing them down. Got another one. Six in a row for Sylvester. And you know the the thing is, is that Jim is really bowling a good game. He hasn't he hasn't been able to get any strikes, but if this was no tap, he'd have all strikes but one. Because he's been getting a lot of nine pin hits. Uh oh. And as I say that, we have a 20 pin turnaround there. So Sylvester's got himself a real big lead now. 50 sticks. 50 pins right about now, separating our bowlers. There you see the score. Sylvester Sampson, perfect through six frames. And you can also see how Jim's ball did flatten out at the end. It didn't finish enough to carry that, that six pin, unfortunately. He's been right around the pocket, but. Not enough juice to carry. That one he got out there. Well, that could have been two in a row there. Here's Sylvester now going for seven strikes in a row. Another bonus. A free garage door opener from Ace Garage Door, Division of Alliance. If he gets another strike here. That's a super prize, too. Nice, nice prize from our friends at Alliance Door. Lubavone. And Ace. And Ace. That's one. He's got it. So he gets himself a free garage door opener from Ace Garage Door. Division of Alliance, and he's got himself seven strikes in a row, getting closer to that new Ford. That's the prize for a perfect game, the use of a new Ford automobile for a year from Crystal Ford. We've had a 300 and no tap this year. Jerry Brunetti Jr. and across. Well, again, looked like it was going to cross over, and it just, just stays right in. there. That's the first time he hasn't had nine or better. Well, excuse me, one other time he had an eight pin hit and that was in the fifth frame. The Jim's bowled a fine game, but Sylvester, of course, is perfect. Going for eight strikes in a row. Too far out? Nope, he's got it. Eight strikes in a row for Sylvester Sampson. And I'll say he's a hot bowler. He is on, there's no doubt about it. He's got the adrenaline flowing today. Jim. Oh, tough shots. break for Jim. So that's two opens in a row on the right side for Jim Salen. The winner of this match is Sylvester Sampson, but we're not gonna go anywhere because he has himself eight strikes in a row. He sure does. And a possibility of a 300. And a nice gift from Crystal Ford. Car, use of a car for a year. Here's Jim, he's trying to look good on TV, and he does. That's two strikes in a row on the left side for Jim. He could still have a 200 game, Jim Salem that is, sure. if he strikes out. He's bowling That's well. But <laughs> Bowler starts off with the first eight. You just want to punch out and go home. Let's see how Sylvester Sampson does. Looking for nine in a row. He's got it. He's got himself nine strikes in a row. And by golly, this is the closest we've come in the regular feature to that magic number. So here's Jim in the 10th frame. Still open for a bonus. Uh, no go. Couldn't put two together. Now this is where it starts getting hard. I had the yeah. first 10 at uh, Brighton Bowl oh, a few years ago. And I can tell you, the nerves, Hand starts sweating. Well, that's right, and the ball gets a little bit heavier, and you say, it gets real you start heavy. thinking, and uh, as soon as you start thinking, then you're in trouble. You know, am I going to do it right? Where do I lay it? It's got to be a good ball. Everybody up now, perked up. First ball in the tenth frame. How does it look? And he's got it. So he's got the first one. Two more to go. 
bowling history in the making. We've never had a 300 in the regular feature. There's a brand new Ford automobile sitting out there for Sylvester. If he can get two more strikes, he's hit 10 in a row. How does it look? How does it look? Bingo. He needs one more. He needs one more strike. Like I said, he was in this position earlier today. He had the first 11 down at Panorama. This is the most exciting bowling I've seen since we've had the big jackpot in bowling for dollars. When I was about 13 years old, I kept score from <laughs> Mr. Cameron's 300 in the Ed Club at Brighton Bowl on 11 and 12. Ah, okay, Sylvester Sampson with a chance for a 300 game. One this more ball. Here it is. How does it look? Is it going to be 300? He's got it. 300 game for Sylvester That's Sampson. That's wild. He wins himself the use of an automobile, a Ford automobile from Crystal Ford. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Congratulations from everybody. I hope he saved himself some because he's going to need some. Some more because he's got $1,500 to shoot for. He still has one game to go. But he's got the use of a Ford automobile for a year, and he's a happy man. Sylvester Sampson with the first 300 game that I can remember on the TV roll Never had it on the TV roll okay, Ron. That's, that's two 300s this year, one on no tap and one on uh, the regular feature. This is worth Congratulations a to Sylvester Sampson. We're going to be right back. Excitement here today, a 300 game by Sylvester Sampson. A 300 scratch. And he's on his way to a top prize of $1,500. He's already won the use of a Ford automobile for a year. That was George Viscotti starting off our second match with a strike. And this is Mike Gallucci, his opponent, another lefty. Looks good. Nice ball. It's there. A lot of strikes today. Sylvester Sampson beat Jim Salen. 300 to 184. Hurry back. And it does Another for George. Strike. That's good for a free car wash from Panorama Car Wash. Plus, it gives him another 10 pins. Well, Sylvester Sampson came close. He had 11 in a row getting here in one of his games. Ooh. Whoa, unbelievable 10 pin for Mike. Pins bouncing all over. It yeah, pins were flying go. all around it. Here's George Vishkani now around a 25 pin lead going into our third frame if Mike converts to 10 pin. George with a 155 <laughs> average, excuse me. And Mike, 177. George Vishkani at one time averaged 200. He was one of the finest bowlers in Rochester. 68 years young, he's still out there going for it though. He beat uh, pro Joe Joseph once. Yep. He was the third ranked pro in the country at the time. He's done it all. He's picked the 7-10 split. Won many tournaments. Been Bingo. A long time. There's three strikes in a row for George. So George was talking to Sylvester, and he says, uh, Sylvester, how did you do it? And looks like George is following uh, his instructions to the T. Yes, sir. There's another one. 
Well, George has been bowling long enough to know that you don't you don't get instructions from anybody else. No. With all the years of bowling that he's had, he's been bowling for 58 years. Looking for four in a row. Right there. It. Okay, we mentioned that he's won the car wash from Panorama Car Wash. He's also won $15 gift certificate from Debbie Supply. Case of Coors, of Coors Light from Wright Wisner. He's also won a free garage door tune-up from Ace Garage Door, Division of Alliance, and a free transmission tune-up from Milton Ron's Transmission, and free rust proofing in any car from Crystal Ford. That, of course, is two in a row for Mike, so he gets the car wash from Panorama Car Wash. Oh, a lot of strikes here today. You aren't who, kidding. Who, you uh, who took care of the lanes today? I hate to say it, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yeah, I oiled them. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Just oiled them like I oil them at Oak Hill when I, uh -huh. when I work at Oak Hill Country Club. <laughs> Do they uh, get a lot of strikes out there too, do they? Well, uh, <laughs> some of the bowlers do, but uh -huh. the majority are there just to have a good time. Yeah. Keep that eye-hand coordination in line for their golfing match. Mm-hmm. Drop that one. Still got it. So, three in a row for uh, Mike Colucci, and he gets the bonus for three in a row, the gift certificate from Debbie Supply, in the case of Coors, a Coors Light from Wright Wisner. I can't keep up with all these boulders. Sylvester Sampson has a 300 already in the bag, his first match. George Visconti is halfway there. He's got five in a row, and, uh, and Mike Colucci, look at him, he's got all strikes but one. Wow, we'll be right back with the conclusion of the second match right after this. some extra time at the end of this show because we have a lot of prizes to give away and a lot of money too here's george going for six in a row does he have it yeah he's got it. a little nudge there on the 10 pin 10 pin trip that's what they call it he tripped that 10 pin that's six in a row for george viscotti you know george can go out to 315 with his part mm-hmm Here's Mike. He's looking for four in a row. He's got all strikes but one. And no. Couldn't get the ten pin down. Another ten pin for a lefty. Also puts him in the hole by 45 pins. He was staying with him strike for strike, but <laughs> those two ten pins that he caught thus far, and they were both pocket ten pins, solid hits. Really knocked him down 20 more pins. Mike lives in Rochester, 13 Raleigh Street, with wife Colby and daughter Lisa Catherine, who's only seven weeks old, as Mike picks up the spare. George has, um, in addition to his wife Jesse, they have uh, three children, sons Don and Michael, and daughter Angela. And Angela had quite a year, too. How does it work? No. Oh, tough no break. Solid seven. One straight. <laughs> seven pin and a seven. So, he won six frames. Uh, getting back to uh, George's daughter, Angela, she received the, um, she was a cheerleading coach of the year. Oh, and he misses a spare. So, he hasn't had a chance to throw out any spares. Made his first uh, attempt. He's got 200 already in his seventh frame. 202. Nope, nope. I might have a mistake here. Well, you're 10 off. It's 192. It's Mike. And Mike comes back with a strike. It very easily have been five in a row for Mike. So you're right? I don't know. We'll see. 
Uh, you're wrong. I'm man. wrong. <laughs> what else is new? Okay, it is 192. <laughs> Little outside Carol comes back. Of course. And George picks up another strike. That's seven strikes and eight frames. Mike is staying right there, though. Mike gets yep. all strikes, but two. He's only, uh, if he catches this strike, Ron, he's 23 pins down. And that's not bad, considering uh, George started out with a first six. So it's not over for Mike by any means. This is an important ball here. And once again, it's the 10 pin. Another 10 pin. Boy, we had the strikes today. Case had just joined us. Sylvester Sampson came up with a 300 game. He's going to get the use of a Ford automobile for a year from Crystal Ford. Still got another game to go, though. Top prize, $1,500. We're talking about George's uh, daughter, Angela. She uh, is from Arcadia. And she was named the cheerleading coach of the year, I would assume, Triple A for the Triple A cheerleaders. Ooh, a little high. No four. Resting his ball as Mike hits the strike. So Mike with a strike in the foundation ninth frame. And George will have to settle for a spare as we go to the tenth frame. Well, Mike can go out to 249. So that's the magic number that George has to try to lock out. So that he would, must, uh, must have a mark George in the mark. tent. Right, mm -hmm. he's got to have a mark in the tent. <laughs> Knowing he can close him out. With a strike. With a couple of strikes here. Yeah. Here's the first one, big left. Right, right there. <laughs> 232, 242, he needs eight pins and two balls. George Biscotti with all strikes but two. Mike was in the pocket every single frame this game. He could do bowl no better by my estimation. He had three solid ten pins. He's bowled extremely well. We've had some good bowling today. And That's okay. what it he is. The door open. No, he doesn't. 251. Oh, he mark, and that's right. what he got. Right. Okay. He's got it. You're right. <clears throat> okay, so no matter what Mike does, As you said, the most he can get is 249, and George already has 251. So even if Mike does strike out, um, the most he can do is pick up a, a bonus for four in a row, which he could very easily do. Go out to 239, which is an excellent game on TV under these pressure. You know, top prizes, $1,500. And you know, uh, Sylvester Sampson has his work cut out for him with this old warhorse, George Visconti. Mm -hmm. He's coming on very strong. He is hot today. I'm making both the regular and the no tap. It's an achievement not done that often by our bowlers. And now, uh, George is sitting knowing where the pocket is and being able to strike. Buzz you here in the background is our fall light that just popped on for some reason. This is for four in a row. Let's see if he gets the bonus for four in a row. Nope, not quite. Okay, but a fine game nevertheless by Mike Gallucci. Mike with a 238 and he loses it. George Viscani with a 251. So George will take his 251 against Sylvester Sampson's 300 and go for the $1,500 top prize in our championship game. That'll be coming up right after this.
Sylvester Sampson against George Viscotti. George doing a lot of bowling today. He this sure is. is. Uh, his, uh, his second match on TV, and he still has one to go in the no tap. And Here's across. His first ball right straight down. Broke up the baby split, left one. Well, let's see if Sylvester Sampson can pick up where he left off. He had a 300 game in his first match against Jim Salen to get him to the championship round. That 300. Sylvester is also giving away 30 pins in this match, Ron. Way outside. Oh, Whoa. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about the 300 here. He can just bolt his game. Here's George. Yeah, that's a, that's a big number there that George is getting 30 pins. So Sylvester's going to have to make them up and the only way you're going to make them up is Bowl if, well. if your opponent opens or you can put some strikes together. I'd like to remind our viewers, too, the final show this year will be for $1,500. I think that's starting with qualifying next week, this week. $1,500, <laughs> final show of the year. This is week number 27, so we only have three more to go after this week. And two more qualifying weeks. George is right there. He's steady. George Viscotti, who had a 2.51 first game against Sylvester Sampson, who stunned this crowd here with a perfect 300 as first match. Picked up a use of a Ford automobile for a year from Crystal Ford, and boy, look at that leave. Mm. Wow. So Sylvester's going to have his work cut out for him here. He Where'd the give ball up, go? <laughs> yeah, he had to give up 30 pins right off the bat. Now he's right. going to be open here unless right. he can convert this. And, of course, if he does convert it, he'll be getting free half-hour bowling instruction, complete equipment check, compliments of the Perfect Game Pro Shop at Ange DiCatello's New York Recreation and Awards. Oh. Give it a good try. Not only but, that... And also breaking for six, he lost four pins on the on exchange. The spare. Mm -hmm. right? So now he's down by, oh, around 45 pins. And here's George looking for a double. Could make it 55 with another one here. And he he's does. George, you recall, had a, like, what, five in a row or six in a row? Six in a row. Six in a row. In his match. He was bowling no tap. He would have had a no tap 300, too, right? Yep. And in the but pocket, Mike. every shot. There's Sylvester with his first strike since his 300. Went two frames without a strike. After getting 12 in a row. George looking for the triple. Nope. So now Sylvester will try to whittle down. George's lead. The way to do it is to get strikes. He can cut it to 44 pins with a double. And nope, once again, it's the 10 pin. That's the second 10 pin. So just not carrying the way he was in the first match. He's getting a little faster when they're getting the ball down the lane deeper and the ball is coming in behind the head pin a little. Consequently, he's not carrying the 10 pin. The angle into the pocket is a little off. This is kind of tough for him, too, with that roundhouse that he has. But he hangs on, picks it up. Sylvester, just one strike in four frames. There's George. Trying to latch on to that $1,500. Bingo, mark it, oh, all the way. Good ball. Three strikes in his first five frames again. We mentioned that he would have had uh, uh, 300 if the first game was no tap because I had all nine pin hits, and that's the same way in this match. He's, his three strikes and then two nine pin hits. Wow. Uh, well, also, uh, George is in our no tap portion. He's so hot this week that he made both the regular and the no tap. So he's got to bowl three games today. Mm -hmm. Tough break for Sylvester, leaving that wide open split. 
So this will be the second split for Sylvester. It's around 75 pins, 80 pins, because a pin count that George will be up. So he makes sure he goes for the two. So a big, huge lead for George Viscotti. All right, come up as with 67 go, pins roughly, Ron. So we go to the sixth frame. As long as he keeps doing that, and there's another 20 pin turnaround. Yeah, 77 pins now. There aren't that many frames left. Sylvester's a real good sport, though. He's pulling for him and just back there laughing. He's, you know, he bowled well. I think he's had an accomplishment once in a lifetime to shoot a 300. He's happened to have had two 300s in one year last year. He had what? Two 300s, I think, last year. Mm -hmm. And to have one on TV, it's just yep. got to be a phenomenal thrill, a phenomenal feeling. And I'm sure there's a little letdown in that, you know, bowling 300 and then having to come back and bowl the championship match. After shooting 300, you've got to be a little bit let down. George really pulled that, breaks up a very difficult split and leaves a 3-9. Very he good almost, break for him. Almost had that 10 pin there. But he's still got the soldier. Okay, here's Sylvester. He could knock off 10 pins. Yeah. Nope, came in high. So he doesn't have that magic touch that he had. He also had to sit down and wait for a game, too. You know, he might have Lane. tightened up a little bit or... Lane conditions change. Sure, sure, especially with the lighting and the ventilation in this particular portion of the building at Channel 13. It does change the lane condition and dry the lanes out, which makes the lanes hook a little more. Less oil, the less the ball will skid, the faster it will finish. And the spare for Sylvester. Incidentally, that last frame for George was the first time he did not have nine or better in two games. Yes, sir. And here we go to the eighth frame. George has already wrapped this thing up. He Another won't give strike. up. So George Viscotti <laughs> on his way to a top prize of $1,500. But this man here, Sylvester Sampson, had himself a 300 game. You'll also have the use of an automobile for a year. From Crystal Ford. There you see our score. Hang on, and it does. It. George has been bowling for many years, and he's bowled the best of them. And just another tournament victory. Yes, sir. For George Viscondi, he's going to win this one. And pocket himself $1,500. Nice ball. That's what Sylvester did in his first match. Every one of them in the pocket every one of them a strike and he had the first 300 game on the TV roll offs I think Sylvester just wants to stop <laughs> well it's all academic now uh, so much so that our our scorekeeper here in the studio stopped keeping score best Sylvester can do is 188 George is well on his way but out of respect for the elderly We'll let him ball. Look at that shot. Look at that. He is hot. And we're going to get to watch him again, too, in our no tap. George Viscani will be taking on Terry Whitney in our no tap match today. And if that proves to be any like the bowling we've had today, it'll be a wild match. Well, Sylvester now getting warmed up again after that long layoff. George picks up the spare. Fine couple of games from George Viscotti. A 251 first game. He's going to have about a 247 here. And uh, well, that's a, almost a 250 average. 
He was receiving two games. 30 pins in this particular game, but he still bowled very, very well. That's not scratch. That's right. You know, and George is a, a bowler that's down at Brighton Bowler at the rollouts every week. He tries until he makes it. And this is his first appearance this year on the show, and I'm really happy to see him make it. Not only make it, but win it. Yeah, he did it very only, well. And not only is he on the regular feature, he's going to be in the no tab. He's going to be taking on Terry Whitney. Our big winner today, George Viscani, will take home the top prize of $1,500. His opponent, Sylvester Sampson, didn't get the top prize, but boy, he got himself a prize. The use of a Ford automobile for a year from Crystal Ford for the 300 he got in the first match. We'll be back with a no tap right after this. excitement we've had today and this man won a regular feature and picked up fifteen hundred dollars he's back in our no tap he's bowling against terry whitney we've already bowled four frames off the air for time and george Fiscotti is down by some mo oh, 20 uh what, 20, 20 pence pin, uh, 20 pence 20 pence to terry whitney that's what terry's been doing now it's 30, right? First frame, Terry had a seven pin hit and an open. And then he's come back with four in a row. Meanwhile, George has had his problems. He had uh, an open in the first. After a strike in the second, he had a split in the third, a strike in the fourth, and then the spare. So Terry has uh, taken a big lead. Halfway through, our no tap. And now George can't find a strike or a nine pin hit. He's only at two in six frames. Terry going for five in a row. He dropped it. Not quite. Ends nope. up with a split. So, clinching this one has been detained. George Viscotti bowling 58 years. Won our regular feature today. He once beat Joe Joseph. Was one of the top ranked bowlers of the day at the time. Back to his third rank. Terry. Settles for one. Terry lives in Greece at 102 Wielden. He works for the town of Greece. Recreation. George and the cross. There it goes. Oh, he's got himself a strike. Terry's been on a diet. He's um, he's lost 50 pounds. Actually, 54 pounds he has lost in maybe the last. I don't know how long. He's, I don't know when he started the diet. Me neither. But uh, he's lost about 12 pounds since the last time he was on this show. Well, there's about 18 pins if Terry converts a spare. If not, we're looking ahead about an eight-pin lead for Terry with George on a hammer. So we're close again as Terry comes up with two straight splits. So here's a chance for George Viscani to take the lead over in this match. It's going to be a little high. Oh, it stays. Good ball. George started off with 13 pins, difference in handicap. George's average 155. Terry is at 182. And Terry had a four-timer going. Built up a pretty good lead, but uh, hasn't been able to buy a strike since then. And George has passed him by. Yes, he has. Unfortunately, I just feel Terry's downfall right now as he's dropping the ball. He's losing, the, losing his grip. Seven pins separating the bowlers. George Viscotti on top. He's already won $1,500 in the regular feature. 
Oh, oh tough break. Tough chop for Terry. My calculations are correct. That would give George around a 20 pin lead. This yeah. could make it 30 with a strike here. Oh, good break good for break. him. Almost had the split. George, after the spare. He's got it. He's got it. Terry's been open last three frames in a row. And another split. Three splits in the last four frames by Terry Whitney after getting four strikes in a row from the second frame through the fifth frame. And then the roof fell in. Came down on Terry. So he has to settle for one. Gives him 151 in the ninth frame, the most he can get is 181. Forces George Viscani again to mark an attempt to guarantee himself mm -hmm. the win. Niner betters all we need a no tap. And he breaks for eight. He's got 180 right now. Yes, sir. And that means that Terry would have to strike out. There's one. Still alive. George has to convert to spare. Gets it, he wins. And there's our winner. So George Viscani is a double winner today. And so is Sylvester Sampson. George Viscani won a regular feature. He's won the no tag. And Sylvester Sampson picked up that big 300 game. So we'll be back to uh, hand out. We got a lot of prizes to hand out and a lot of money too. And we'll do it right after this. excitement we've had here today. Unbelievable yeah. show. Unbelievable. We have a lot of prizes to give away in addition to the money, so let's get everybody All up. right. In uh, fourth or second place in the no tap, Terry Whitney. Come on up, Terry. <laughs> Terry, you're well on your way until you ran into splits, oh, builder. Yeah. Huh? Too much on the head, yeah, Ben. Yeah, three, three out of four last, uh, last frames. Still have a check for $100 for your efforts, okay. Terry, and well, I know you'll right. be back. I know. Yeah. I'll see you Good again. to see you again, Terry. Okay. okay. All right, fourth place in the regular, Jim Silent. Come on up, Jim. Did you ever wonder what it was like to bowl against a guy with a 300 game? Now you know, huh? Found out, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, right. <laughs> Boy, you bowled well, too. That's, you know, that, but. Um, you did. I still have $125 yeah. for your effort, Jim. And Thanks so hey, much. Okay, Kyle Jim. <laughs> yeah. All right, runner up, Mike Gallucci. Come on up, Mike. Okay. Mike, you too. You bowled well also. I hate the 10 pin. <laughs> I know it. You did leave a lot of 10 God. pins in you. I know. A couple of 10 pins. Okay. All right. First of all, Mike from Panorama Car Wash, I have a free car wash for you from Debbie Supply for your three strikes in a row, a $15 gift certificate. Also, from Wright Wizard and our friends, a case of Coors or Coors Light, whichever you prefer, and still a check for $125. And congratulations. Right. Thanks, Mike. All strikes but three. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good bowling. And in second place in our regular feature, let's bring up Sylvester Sampson. Come on up, Sylvester. Our perfect bowler. Our 300 bowler, Sylvester. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You know, it's one thing to bowl 300, but then another thing to have the whole community watching you do it, huh? Fantastic. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Did you get that car for a year, the use of a car from Crystal Ford? That's just if, I'm, if you had any three, you've had a couple of three hundred. We mentioned you, yeah, you couple had a couple of this year too, didn't you? No. Well, none this year? None this year. Last year, actually. Last oh, year. oh, okay, Last Mick. Year All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll correct that then. Last year you had two and the only two? The only two. Yeah. Well, that's great. One now. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. I got a lot of prizes for you, Sylvester. First of all, I have a car wash from Panorama Car Wash, case of Coors or Coors Light from Wright Wisner, $15 gift certificate from Debbie Supply, from Ace Garage Door, Division of Alliance Door, free garage door adjustment, from Milton Ron's on Clinton Avenue, a free transmission tune-up. Also, from Christo Ford, we have free rust proofing, and from Ace Garage Door, Division of Alliance Door, for your seven in a row, you get a free garage door opener, which is an excellent prize. I also have a check here for $350 for coming in second, and keys to a car. Congratulations from Christo Ford. Use of a car for a year. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sylvester. Good bowling. All right. Let's bring up the big winner of both the regular and the no tap of our big Easter show, George Visconti. Come on up, George. All right, George. Bowling 58 years, George, and you're still going strong. Uh, we're still trying. Let's put it that way. Yeah, well, still winning, too. Let's, uh, let's give George uh, all his awards here. I have a lot of loot. First of all, I have a beautiful tr plaque for winning the no-tap tournament for this year. Two plaques. Also, one for winning the regular, which is phenomenal. And you can have your name engraved at New York Recreation Awards. You get a lot of awards home, you get a lot of plaques oh, yeah. home, don't you? Well, those will look good on the wall. Also, I have a free car wash from Panorama Car Wash, a $15 gift gift from Debbie Supply. From Wright Wisner, our friends, we have a case of Coors or Coors Light, whichever you prefer. Also, a free rust proofing from Christo Ford, another nice prize. From Milton Ron's Transmission, a free transmission tune-up. Okay, and from Ace Garage Door, Division of Alliance Door, we have a free garage door adjustment. And then for winning the no-tap, $500. And for winning the regular, $1,500 with $2,000 risk. Okay, George, congratulations. Good bowling. We'll see you next week. So long, everybody. You've been watching the TV Roll-Offs. Today's show has been brought to you in part by Crystal Ford, your discount outlet center. This program was recorded earlier for presentation at this time.